Archbishop Edward A. McCarthy High School is dedicated to the formation of tomorrow's leaders through a Roman Catholic experience that provides excellence in atmosphere, academics, activities, the arts, and athletics. Our mission is to be one of the most innovative, influential, and accomplished Roman Catholic schools in the nation. Today is October 24th, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, as we continue our journey through this week, we turn to you with gratitude for the blessings you've bestowed upon us. Help us appreciate the beauty of creation and the gift of life. Guide our hands in our daily tasks that we may find fulfillment and purpose. In our moments of weakness, strengthen us, and in our moments of joy, remind us of your presence. May our lives be a reflection of your divine love and grace. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please turn to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. and happy homecoming week. My name is Emily Sapero and I'm Alessandra Henriquez. Today is Tuesday, October 24th and we will be running on a regular C through A period schedule. Let's kick things off with Alec and check on sports. Good morning, Mavs, and welcome back to this HOKO Week special edition of Mavs Sports Minute. My name is Alec Gutierrez and let's get this started. Starting off on the field, our Mavericks men's golf team won the 2023 Catholic Quad Match at Hakaranda Country Club this past Wednesday with a 290 score that was able to beat out St. Thomas, Columbus, and Cardinal Gibbons. Way to go, Mavs, and let's keep these wins coming. Moving over to the Lady Mavs softball team, a very big congratulations to our very own Sienna Garcia, who recently committed to playing softball at Belmont Abbey College. We wish her the very best in her college career. And lastly, for Mav News, a very big shout out to the Lady Mavs varsity volleyball team for winning their 2023 district champions against Pembroke Pines Charter with a score of 3-1 to one in games. Come support them now where they defend their winning title at the regional playoff game on Wednesday. Finishing off with the pros, this past Sunday, New England Patriots were able to beat the Buffalo Bills in a very, very close score of 29-25. to 25. Well, that's all I have for you today on this edition of Mavs Sports Minute. I'm Alec, and now we'll get back to the desk. Thanks, Alec. It's our second day of Hoga Week, Mavs. We are so excited to see the variety in today's theme, Country vs. Country Club. And we want to give a huge thank you to the SGA boards for working so hard to deck out the halls this past Friday. The decorations look incredible and really help our school feel immersed in the homecoming spirit. Let's check out this video for Friday's decorating. Welcome! It's Hoga Morning! It's decoration Woo! day! Woo! It's decoration Good morning. day! Good morning! Good morning. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Do you think you're gonna win? Yeah, definitely. We're doing good. We're doing good. Good. Yes. All right, class. So I took the trash can and I turned him into RTD2 for our space hallway. How are you feeling? It's hard. It's hard out here. Okay. Uh, pretty good. I think we're gonna win.
It looks like our peers put in a ton of work to make this week memorable. Absolutely. And as a reminder, tomorrow's theme will be to dress up as your favorite holiday. As always, make sure what you're wearing is Catholic school appropriate. The Maverick Raffle is coming to a close. Get those tickets in this Thursday to your J-period teacher and remember that you must attach the Activeva printed receipts. Checks also have to be made payable to AMHS, otherwise they don't count and your ticket cannot be accepted. This is a great way to raise money for the school and earn great prizes, Mavs. The top prizes are class parties and days off school. See Miss Curtis in the eye lounge to receive more and earn those days off. Raffle winners will be chosen at halftime during this Friday's homecoming football game. Speaking of the HOKO game, don't forget to bring cash if you would like to buy concessions. Pizza, drinks, and snacks will be available at 7 p.m. It is cash only, Mavs, so make sure you bring your money to the homecoming game. Campus Ministry invites everyone to join them for exposition and benediction of the Holy Eucharist every Monday and Wednesday after school from 2.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. in the chapel. We are looking forward to sharing this deeply meaningful experience with everyone as they come together in prayer and reflection. They hope to see you there. If you are interested, be sure to stop by tomorrow in the chapel after school. The swimming team is having their district competition today at NSU, so we wish them good luck and know that they'll make us proud. In other sports news, any, anyone trying out for the men's basketball team should pay attention and take note of the following information. This Thursday and Friday, tryouts for 9th and 10th graders start at 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., followed immediately by tryouts for 11th and 12th graders starting at 7.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. On this Saturday, October 28th, tryouts for 9th through 10th graders start at 8 a.m. until 10 a.m., followed by tryouts for 11th and 12th graders starting at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Players must arrive 15 to 20 minutes prior to the tryout time to check in and stretch on their own. Before participating in tryouts, students must complete the following. They must be cleared on privet with the proper EL2 FHSAA physical form. Students will be notified on their privet stating if they are cleared. They also must complete the three NFHS Learn videos. You can send certificates of completion for all three courses to men's basketball at McCarthyHigh.org. Due to the lack of gym availability, there will be no makeup dates for men's basketball tryouts. If you are sick, you must submit a doctor's note approved by the school. If you have any questions, please email mensbasketball at mccarthyhigh.org or see Ms. Livingston in student services. In other basketball news, the women's basketball team will be having tryouts on the 30th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. You must complete and upload the private forms in order to try out. There will not be a makeup day, so if you are unable to try out, contact Coach Perez at jperez at mccarthyhigh.org. The girls' beach volleyball team will be hosting a meeting tomorrow, October 25th, in room 220 with Coach Satsumeyer. Make sure to be there at 2.45 p.m. The women's varsity lacrosse team is also meeting tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. in the I Lounge for an informational meeting. Don't forget to stop by if you're interested. For more information, contact Coach Jim Hill at jhill at stmarks.com. Attention Mavs, if you have not signed up for the Justice for All Club, and are interested in trying out for the mock trial team, scan the QR code on the screen now to join the Canvas course. There will be two informational meetings for the mock trial team the week after next, and you will be expected to have read the case by then. You can access the case materials in the announcements section of the course, as well as dates, times, and places for introductory meetings. Feel free to email Ms. Vonfell at mvonfell at mccarthyhigh.org if you have any questions. To wrap us up, we are incredibly excited to announce that tickets for the fall main stage play, The Curious Savage, are now available, presented by our very own award-winning Maverick players. The show is running from November 9th through 12th, and seating is limited in the Maverick Theater, so make sure to buy your tickets at the Acceptiva link available on the Maverick Update. Now let's check out this week's edition of Trivia Tuesday. <laughs> Good morning, Mavericks, and welcome back to another episode of Trivia Tuesday. I'm Tamara Toma. And I'm Mia Martinez. And today we have... Francesca. Camila. George. Luciano. Chris. Gio. Natalia Andrade. Sabrina Bowman. And we're going to ask you both a question, but to decide who goes first, we're going to play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors. So go for it. Okay, so your question is, how many teeth does adult humans have? 
<laughs> what? I'm like 32. 23. 28. 32. Okay, and your guess? Uh, 36. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, your guess? Uh, 32. Okay, and your guess? 26. All right, so. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh? 24. 24. <laughs> 30. Okay, so you guys were kind of close. The correct answer was actually 32. But thank you guys for playing. <laughs> All right, so the correct answer is actually 32. You got it right. How do you feel? She makes me mad. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for playing. Okay, so one of you got it right. The correct answer was 32, so congratulations. How do you feel that you lost? Uh, that's all right. It's cool. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for playing. Okay, so the correct answer is actually 32. You got it right. Congratulations. How do you feel? Like I lost. Okay. Thank you guys for playing. <laughs>